from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Our first stop this week is Southern Louisiana for the inaugural Lucas Oil IFA Pro-Am Redfish Challenge, presented by Cabela's. We're, uh, we're fishing down in Venice, uh, about 20 miles south of Venice proper, down river on the east side, fishing some broken canes, shallow flats. <clears throat> Fish that we're, uh, that we're after basically are cruising. This cane is the structure that holds the bait. The Lucas Oil IFA Pro-Am Redfish Challenge presented by Cabela's is a three-day event with a $55,000 guaranteed purse on the professional side. An exciting format. We're looking forward to, uh, to competing against these guys. The team event's always been fun, but this is going to be a lot different. Always wanting somebody to do a Pro-Am tour. So I think it's got to be the best thing for the future of the sport. It's three days, and when you put three days together, it's hard enough to do it two days in a row. If you can do it three, that's a, that's a feat. Well, we're starting out the uh, beginning of the IFA uh, Redfish Tour this week. Uh, I guess we're kicking off the deal with our uh, first Pro-Am uh, to be associated with them. So we're very, very excited to be down here at Chalmette, and uh, I think it's going to be a good year. To kick off the first event of the IFA, we've got 25 of the top-ranked professional redfish anglers from all across the Gulf Coast. This is a group of anglers that was kind of handpicked and invited to this, so it's, it's some of the best ones, and I haven't fished against a lot of these guys in, in probably two, three years, and that's about how long it's been since there's been a tour that's had this group of anglers together of this caliber. So to win this one would be really cool. I mean, there's, it'd be an awesome feat. We'll begin coverage of the Lucas Oil IFA Pro-Am Redfish Challenge with John Henninger and Van Dessing. Come on, big boy. Come on. to us. I need you. I want you. Gotta have you. Going? Yeah, that's, that's a good fish. All right. Way to go, John. That feels good. <laughs> That's a pig feeding over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That worked. Oh, yeah. With one in the boat, we'll leave Henniger and Dassing and check in on Billy Nicholas and Dewey Holloway. That's a good fish, I believe, buddy. I don't think he's as big as I thought he was. Not as good as you thought he was. Ah, he's a good fish. Maybe. Right, oh boy. There's some fish. This one here weighs six and three quarter. As soon as it hit the water, I turned to look at Billy. About took off with it, so that's a good feeling. Wrapping up day one, we'll head back to Shelmet for weigh-in. Now, despite colder than normal temperatures, 23 of the 25 teams brought in limits. Louisiana's Dwayne Achete and Randy Lane brought in two fish for over 15 pounds. He put pressure on me all day. He caught that 846, and then he sits there and says, OK, look, I got mine in the live well. You need to get out there and start fishing. He sat down and started eating. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. What's going on here? He's like, you know, I got my end of the deal. You got to carry yours. So believe, you can believe 10% of everything Dwayne says, too. <laughs> Moving to the leaderboard on the professional side, Eddie Adams is holding on to first with a slim lead over Achete, Gritter Griffin, and Tad Vandermark. Here's a look at the rest of the field. For the complete standings, visit ifatours.com. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com and enter for your chance to pick up some of the free gear we're giving away every week. Sign up and win. It's that easy. Coming up, we've got more highlights from the Lucas Oil IFA Redfish Challenge. 
Yamaha Outboards, a proud sponsor of the IFA, offers a variety of outboard options for both the skinny water angler and the blue water specialist. Look them up at YamahaOutboards.com. You just want to fish, not mess around with buttons and settings and such. That's why they made every Garmin Echo Fish Finder easy to use. You see fish, you catch fish, easy. Fight fish, not your fish finder. Get the unsurpassed power, clarity, and dependability of a Garmin Echo Fish Finder. Second to you again, bud. Tell you what, next tournament, I won't use my hydroway. I don't believe you, so you know what, bud? I'm taking it with me. Go ahead. Thanks, bud. You know what, Kevin? You know, he actually may be pulling for me. He's nuts if he thinks I'm giving up my hydroway. What a squirrel. <laughs> The Yamaha VMAX SHO, first it changed the game, now it set the standard. But don't take our word for it. The whole shot was everything they said it was gonna be. And we accelerated from like 50 miles an hour to 70, and it was like that. So fast, so quiet. I mean, you give it power, and it's just there. That thing right there is just bad. The whole shot on it, the second to none. Oh yeah, it's for real. Take a demo ride and feel the power yourself. You'll know why we call it the game changer. Americana Outdoors is presented to you by Garmin. Follow the leader. By Cabela's. It's in your nature. And by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Chalmette, Louisiana for day two of the Lucas Oil IFA Pro-Am Redfish Challenge. Presented by Cabela's. Now Andy Adams held the lead after day one. Fishing on day two with Barbara Scopolitis, they managed to pick up two fish, but it wasn't enough to hold the lead. Right. A little fish, but he's a keeper. Keeper. Ah, uh, not the day we want it. That's about it. Did what we thought we could and it didn't work out today. Dwayne Achete has multiple wins with the IFA and once again, He's got himself within striking distance, starting the second day in second place. Co-angler Kurt Shader hooked up into the first redfish of the morning, and Dwayne right. scooped him up. Okay. This fish right here is 26 and a half. Look at Which is exactly what we're looking for. Partner? Way to go. We're doing good. Look at him. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's an upgrade. With two good ones in the live well, Achete and Shader headed back to Chalmette for weigh-in. Achete slipped down one spot to third. Lucas Oil angler Billy Nicholas clawed his way from 11th into the top five, but it was Tad Vandermark who made the big move, climbing into the number one spot with one day left to fish. Here's a look at the rest of the field. On the third and final day of the Lucas Oil IFA Pro-Am presented by Cabela's, oh, Tad Vandemark has it. a nearly half-pound lead over second place. He's already got one in the live well and plenty of time on the day. Yes! We got two, baby! And this one's a fatty. Almost eight pounds, bro. You know, we were just fixing to make a decision on which way to go. The weather's horrible. It's getting worse by the hour. We got this little pocket here, and I've been catching fish probably 100 yards from here. So we just came back and got on the windward side. We're just going to work this pond for another 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We've got a fish that weighs, I'm going to say, close to eight, maybe a little less, maybe a little over. 
and we got one that's a little less than six, maybe five and three quarters. So if we can get fortunate enough to just upgrade one more fish to a high six or a low seven, we got a great shot. That's a boy! Keep him on, keep him on. It's a good fish. Keep him on. That's my boy right there! Yes, there you sir. go. <laughs> After three days of tournament fishing, the Lucas Oil IFA Pro-Am presented by Cabela's is over. And we'll head back to Chalmette for the final weigh-in. There's $25,000 on the line for first place, and all eyes were on the scales as each angler took his turn on stage. In the end, Tad Vandermark stretched out his lead over the rest of the field and locked up the win at the inaugural Lucas Oil IFA Pro-Am presented by Cabela's. And here's a look at the top 10 on the co-angler side. The first time ever for me to win an IFA event. I've, I've fished a lot of them, and I've finished second and third and fifth and ninth, but I've never won one, and I've won everything else that there is to win, and this is the only IFA, you know, pro-am, which was great, that I have never won, and um, I'm pretty doggone happy, buddy, let me just say it right now. Congratulations to Tad Vandermark. To learn more about the IFA, visit ifatours.com. Coming up, we're headed to Branson, Missouri for the 2013 Cabela's Big Bass Bash. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com and register to win. We've got gear from our sponsors and we're giving it all away. We're also giving away fishing trips and hunts of a lifetime. Check out AmericanaOutdoors.com for all the details and deadlines. We invented and patented the first aerated live well. We're first with higher flotation standards and first to receive a protected design hull copyright. With such a strong focus on non-stop innovation, no other boat enjoys such advanced engineering. Ranger Boats, we're celebrating over 45 years of fishing and a lifetime of leadership. Discover Yamaha's VMAX power. When you want the best, choose Yamaha. Livingston Lures, an exclusive combination of swim action, vibration, sound, and flash. Endorsed and used by Bassmaster Elite Series anglers like Randy Howell. Woo! Giant bass for Randy Howell. Jeff Creek. Give me some love for Jeff Creek. And Brent Chapman. 2012 Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Brent Chapman. Woo! See Livingston Lures at every Bassmaster event in 2013. Visit us at livingstonlures.com. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United <laughs> States. That's a tote. Sunline Super Fluorocarbon, with strength to guarantee your confidence. Introducing advanced interchangeable hook design, Freedom Live Action Hybrid Jigs. It gives the bait a free range of motion, give more natural and realistic action while maintaining upright hook position. Need to change bait styles, colors, even hooks on the fly? Get ready for the easiest way to mix up your lure appearance with an easy twist on and off snap. The future of fishing. Freedom Live Action Hybrid Jigs. Americana Outdoors is brought to you in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Arctic Ice, bitterly cold and by Amphibia Performance Floating Eye Gear. Southern Arkansas. Don't have many smallmouth in Southern Arkansas. 414, good job, 414. University of Central Missouri. 
You've had a little time to practice up here, maybe. Oh, yeah. We had uh, a couple days, two or three days of practice. Let's say he's 4 6 one, four, six, one. Good job. Going to take the lead. Way to go. Okay, put it in there. Blake Darren, also from Louisiana Monroe. This is going to get it on up there where it needs to be. Going to break the six pound. Six, four, two. Good job. Six, four, two. Right now, that's leading the hour. You got some more plans for that kind the rest of the day? Yes, sir. We're going to go deep this slow. Ready to go get them? Yes, sir. All right. Did you catch that on that homemade jig? All right. Welcome to Table Rock Lake and the 2013 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash, a two-day individual big bass event, part of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, presented in part by our friends at Boat US. That's my second one I've been to. It's, uh, it's a great event. I'll definitely be coming back if I have the opportunity. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a different kind of fishing. You get to get out there and uh, not necessarily get on a pattern for a big sack, but go for that one big bite. So it, it keeps, you, keeps you on your toes fishing for something different. Now, day one of competition at the Cabela's Big Bass Bash dawned to a winter wonderland. Four inches of freshly fallen snow greeted the anglers at takeoff. And with temperatures hovering in the 30s, well, collegiate anglers from across the country bundled up and headed out onto Table Rock Lake. Oh, it's Lake. been cold. It's probably the coldest tournament I've ever fished in, and first time I've ever really fished in snow, so it's been interesting. In my history at Table Rock, if there's snow coming out of the air, there's a lot of big fish fighting. We'll begin day one coverage with Arkansas Tech's Evan Smith and T.J. Miller. While well, sitting there jiggling around on the log, he grabbed it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> there you go, keep. Nothing big, but it's a start. Hopefully, we can build up on it throughout the day. I don't think these fish are going to stop eating, so. Right now, we're just throwing Alabama rigs or uh, shad imitating swim baits, and we're targeting pockets of shads down on the graph. We're seeing them down on the graph about 10 foot of water. You can actually see some in the water sometimes. And we're just throwing these Alabama rigs underneath them, trying to catch, catch the fish underneath them. These fish have changed a little bit from practice. They were more bunched together during practice, and now they've kind of spread out and they're roaming more. But there's still plenty of bait fish around. Just got to figure out exactly what they're liking. Now, despite the cold conditions, Table Rock is producing this morning. We got one, one large mouth up. Two and a half, three pounds that we're going to go ahead and take back way in, see how it does. As predicted, the cold weather has the shad active and the bass moving. I feel more confident tomorrow, though. It's going to be a little more sunny. Found some new holes. We caught most of our fish off of stuff we didn't even fish in practice. Go home, look at the map, and try to find some more places like it. Moving on, we'll check in with the University of Louisiana at Monroe. Jackson Blanket is hooked up. Blake Darren handles the net, and just like that, the boys from Louisiana are on the board. Heading back to weigh-in, Brian Kurt from the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point steps up to the scales. Four one seven. That'll get you up in the. Hop right now. John Wolford from Southern Arkansas tops seven pounds. 701 officially. 701. But Zachary Wiggers from UNA wins the third session with his catch. See what it's going to weigh. New leader 708. Way to go. Get that fish out there and hold it up one time for the camera. 708. Good job. For more information on the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash, visit CollegiateBassChampionship.com. Coming up, more Collegiate Bass Fishing from Table Rock Lake. The Boat U.S. Way to Win Contingency Program is the easiest way to have peace of mind on and off the water and win a few bucks in the process. Visit BoatUSFishing.com to learn more. You just want to fish, not mess around with buttons and settings and such. That's why they made every Garmin Echo fish finder easy to use. You see fish, you catch fish, easy. Fight fish, not your fish finder.
get the unsurpassed power, clarity, and dependability of a Garmin Echo Fish Finder. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. With a great history in drag racing. And now into the marine market. Lucas is proud to offer an ethanol treatment for a wide range of boat motors on the market today. Lucas Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner with stabilizers was developed to specifically address issues associated with using ethanol-based fuels. Increase your mileage and performance with Lucas Oil High Performance Products. Learn more at lucasoil.com. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. Sunline FX2, the strongest braid available. <laughs> this braid, I oh, absolutely love it. This portion of Americana Outdoors is brought to you in part by PowerPole Shallow Water Anchor System, by Bradley Smokers, food smoking the easy way, and by Sunline Fishing Line. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors and the 2013 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash from Table Rock Lake and our host city of Branson, Missouri. Now the folks in Branson pulled out all the stops for this event, offering both a world-class fishery and some warm Ozark hospitality. If you're looking for a getaway that truly offers something for the whole family, give Branson, Missouri a look. Now back on Table Rock, more than 140 anglers from college campuses across the country battled it out on day one, looking for the top spot on the Cabela's leaderboard. What do you think that fish weighs? I don't have a clue, probably six and a half. I, don't know. I think it'll be bigger than that. How about seven, six, two? New big fish of the day. So we, uh, we made a long run this morning and we found an area in practice that Rob caught a seven, almost an eight pounder actually, in practice and we started there and uh, probably not ten minutes into the day I caught that fish. I didn't think it was as big as it was, I thought it was about six and a half, but I was pretty excited. Um, we knew that the big fish were in there and we spent a lot of time there and we caught a few other really nice fish while we were there. Taking a quick look at the leaderboard for day one, the University of Northern Alabama is holding on to the top two overall spots with a pair of seven pounders. With one day left to fish, we'll head to takeoff as the tournament releases anglers onto Table Rock Lake. There's a lot of really good fishermen out here. Like I said yesterday, and uh, it's not gonna be easy, but we're gonna go out there and go do what we know. We have two areas that we caught some really big fish in practice and we're just gonna milk them for all they got today and hope for the best. We'll begin our final day coverage with the event leader, Dawson Lenz, and his fishing partner, Rob Young. He ain't big. He's not too big, but I'll just get him in the boat. Fish on. You never know, dude. Be careful with it. I'll just swing him in. Don't want to miss. Number one. Believe it or not, all of our big fish we caught yesterday, even our, our teammate Zach, who had a seven pounder yesterday, the, uh, they're not cha the, those big fish aren't eating those little shad that, uh, that you see uh, the smaller spots and smallmouth up chasing. The three big fish we brought in yesterday, 
They all had, all like had shad in their throats. Eight inch shad, their tails were, couldn't fit. Eight and 12 inches. I mean, they couldn't fit. I mean, the tails were sticking out of their throats. Sticking out of their throats. And you could tell that the shad was between eight and 12 inches long. I mean, they're eating these huge gizzard shad that are just out here on the standing timber. Fish. You got one? No. I don't know. Is that another small mouth? There you go. Bring up, bring up. That's not a bad one. There we go. That's a little bit better one. A little better. There you go. Good job. Good job, baby. Get Get the one. Smoking me. North Alabama, baby. We're going to try to bring it home today. We'll move on and check in with Evan Barnes and Shane Stoddard. Got gotcha. you. I knew it was going to happen. Got him. Come on, baby. Go come out clean. Don't come out. We've clean. had a pretty rough week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not the first time we've been hit with boots. Fish, 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 big fish, big fish. Lane Woods and Brett Fickle from the University of Central Missouri are hooked up. There you go. Decent. Not big, but it'll keep. That'll keep. Well, that'll put Central Missouri on the board. Now we'll check back with the University of North Alabama's Dawson Lenz and there Rob Young. Oh, big one. Hey, yeah, baby, come here, girl. Oh, there you go. At a boy, Rob. Not a bad one. Any things worse? No luck. We kind of figured it was gonna be a little tougher, but we hoped that we could have a couple, uh, couple nice fish in the boat right now. But you know, we're just gonna keep at it. Just like we said, we're gonna keep doing what we, uh, doing what we've been doing. We've been adjusting our pattern a little bit. Uh, we caught a few more fish today, a little bit suspended, a little bit deeper. So. We're going to adjust uh, in that way and fish a little deeper, but other than that, we're going to stick to what we know and and uh, hopefully get our baits in front of some of these big fish that we know live out here. All right, Dawson Lynn's coming up next. Current leader for the whole tournament. You done scared them all yesterday. 277, you are on the board again. 277. We're going to wrap up coverage of the 2013 Cabela's Big Bass Bash from Table Rock Lake. For complete tournament coverage of this event, we invite you to check your local listings for the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series or visit collegiatebasschampionship.com for air dates and a look at the final results. Stay on top of the latest news, technology, and gear at AmericanaOutdoors.com. Americana Outdoors is also on Facebook. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.